Uh, hey, what's up guys? This is Spencer Owens from Crosstalk, and I'm here with 21-year-old Andy Winkler, fresh out of Italy. Andy, what's it like coming over to the States racing? Yeah, I came here for racing Supercross. I tried to, my goal was to qualify for all the night show, but uh, it was good. Like, I did every night show I tried, and uh, I had an injury, so I, I, can, I couldn't do all the races, and but now my goal is to go to the main event, maybe next year, and I don't know when. Tell me a little bit about the injury. What what happened when, when you got hurt, when you yeah, hurt your knee? I was here in Madison, and I did a stupid corner that uh, popped my knee out, and uh, and I tore my ACL, so I, I couldn't uh, do the race of, in the weekend after, and uh, I tried to ride in uh, A2, and... Uh, I was fine, but in the last uh, in the last lap of the heat race, my knee popped out again. So I have to recover for uh, one more week, and I did uh, like uh, A3 and uh, didn't do Oakland. So, so over in Italy, um, before you came here, did you race Supercross? Were you familiar with with the layout, with what you yeah. had to do to prepare? Yeah, Supercross in Italy is very different because it's easier, smoother, and the level is a lot a lot uh, lower and. It's, it's okay. I, I did some races, like the Italian Championship, the races in France, the Supercross Tour, and some races in Germany, the ADAC uh, Supercross. I, I had a little bit of experience, but here I, le I learned a lot. The, yeah. the tracks here are, are amazing, and it's, it's good for me and the learning. Do you like racing here, or do you like racing in Italy better? Yeah, I like racing here. Yeah, the stadium is... It's only a dream to, to stay in the stadium and see all the crowd and the monster girls and <laughs> everything. It's, it's very nice here. It's a dream of everyone, I think, so. Who's your favorite monster girl? Uh, I don't know. I, <laughs> usually, uh, I, I like, like Mercedes Terrell, mm -hmm. but I, I don't know them, so I can say it. I, I, I don't know. If you could meet them at one of the races, what yeah. would you what would you say to them? Would you try to pick up on them? Would you just kind of say so. hi? I don't know. I, I like uh, other types of girls, so it's it's different. I don't know. It's different. Yeah. I, so, I'm going uh, to find uh, other type of girls. Yeah, I, I understand that. Yeah. Um, but let me preface this again by saying that you came over here from Italy um, two years ago. We talked about that. Um, what brought you over here to the States? Yeah, last year I came here for trying to ride, only to do like some experience. A guy from Italy called uh, Andrea Girardello gave me the opportunity to to come here and try like the tracks and do like a little bit of vacation. And uh, I tried also the Supercross, and I felt good. So I, I tried this year to do better, and I, I did it a little bit. I, I, I need more experience, I know. And more practice. I, I need not, not uh, to be injured uh, like every year. And I, I, I'm going to do the best for the next year, I think. I hope. Yeah, so the 250 Lights West season has come to a close. Last weekend at San Diego, what are you going to do on the off season to prepare for when it picks back up in Salt Lake City? Uh, this year is not Salt Lake City. There, it's not Salt Lake there City. There's uh, only like uh, Seattle and Vegas for oh, the West Coast. Okay. Well, Seattle and Vegas. What are you going to do over yeah. the season to prepare yeah, for Seattle and Las Vegas? It's tough because I don't know yet if I have to do surgery now or after these races. I hope after because more I ride here, more I, I learn. But uh, my knee is not very good now and I struggle every time I go riding. So it depends only on my knee and on the surgery. If I do surgery, I, I'm coming for the next year for sure. We're back next yeah, year? next year. Yeah. So what was it like to line up on Anaheim 1 on the first day? Did you roll up there? Was it a dream come true for you? What was yeah. going through your mind? How were you feeling? Yeah. You, I, I didn't think to qualify this, this race because it was the first one was uh, like was tough the track was difficult and uh, I didn't do like a very good lap I didn't prepare so much and when I qualified it was like the best feeling in the world I was like excited happy. Huh? yeah excited it's like for me I'm not uh, like it's not my work uh, mm -hmm. riding 
So only to be in the night show and riding with these guys is like uh, a dream come true. So it's very, very fun. It's, it's fun. Which rider do you most like to ride against out there on the track? Uh, I don't know. Every time change is. Every every race is changing. I, it varies every time. Yeah, I I don't know. Also for like every every week I I progress a little bit so I can mm -hmm. say. That yeah. So it varies with with competition. Um, and we're out here at Milestone. Do you like practicing with the competition or do you like practicing by yourself? Because I know I've talked to riders and they like to practice on their own home yeah, test tracks, but yeah. what's it like riding with the competition that you're racing against the weekend? I, I think for me it's useful because I have to learn a lot of riding and uh, I see these guys and uh, I, I keep all the good things they do yeah. and I try to do the same. So for me it's good to ride with them. And here in my is amazing because the track is always prepared and there are always good riders. So it's it's uh, a lot better. In Italy usually I, I ride alone in a very, very easy super cross track and it's it's not like useful like this. You have only like a, a goal to go like nearer to the other riders mm -hmm. and you push more. It's useful, yeah. Are the tracks a lot easier in Italy? Yeah, yeah, usually, yeah. They are more smoother, safer, and a lot slower because we don't have a lot of space like this uh, in the race tracks and also the training It's track. smaller and it's, and yeah. it's more it's enclosed. Like arena, it's close to Arena Cross. Here. Okay. Yeah, it's super close, it's there, yeah. Okay, and are you doing the outdoors this year? Uh, if. Yeah, it depends always on my knee. It's my knee... It's the knee that's holding yeah. me back right now. I, I want to go to, to do some races, but... I want to ride how, how much I, I, <laughs> yeah. how I can, but uh, it's, it's difficult. Yeah. My body don't like to do it, so... Yeah. Injury always plays a toll, especially in this sport. Um, what do you do on your spare time? I've noticed I, you, you do a lot of surfing. Yeah, you... in my, my, my free time I have a lot of... Uh, a lot of hobbies, yeah. I. I used to do a lot of sports, like motocross now, but before I did a lot of different stuff, like uh, skating, BMX. Now, now I'm surfing like almost every day, so it's it's a good uh, it's a good sport. Also for training for the motocross. Mm -hmm. Usually when I go there, I, I do the best, and uh, so it's also good for the body for the training. Yeah. So you also use these hobbies for for training techniques yeah, to, yeah, to get more endurance yeah. and and to be better at what yeah. you do. Before I used it to like do stupid things, so it was not very useful because it's only for hurt myself, like usually. Yeah. Now surfing is a little bit safer, and uh, I I enjoy. I'm getting better and. It's good. I'm not a pro, but they can do this. So. One of the tokens of coming yeah. to California is, is learning to surf, Yeah, huh? yeah. I go every day. So Also, also when I'm in Italy and uh, I do surf trips, and when I have free time, I go to relax in Spain and Portugal. That's usually my best experience uh, was like uh, with uh, two of my best friends. We went with a minivan, and mm -hmm. then we traveled all Europe only for surfing. And uh, we we was like arranging ourselves and uh, almost without money, so it was like like uh, real life. We we, yeah. we 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 had a lot of adventures and everything. I have to remember this for the rest of my life. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. What is the most craziest thing that you've ever done on a bike? The bike, the bike. Thing. The bike. Yeah, I, I did the bike thing on the. On, the on this bike? Yeah. No. Yeah, 250, but in Italy. With the, I have some freestyle guys that are my friends in Italy, and we go to ride some rants and parties, obviously. Dude. And uh, one day we were there, there was like a pretty, pretty ruined foam pit, was like two meters high, so you have to do it. And I was so pumped that yeah, I did the very thing. Yeah. Dude, you are probably one of the coolest people that I have ever met doing this. This is so sick to hear all this. Let's switch gears a little bit and come back to racing. What sponsors have been um, there for you when you came over here to the U.S.? Yeah, I, I have some people that that helped me for racing. It's uh, now when I race, it's. 
different. Uh, I focus a little bit more, and so I want to do better. Take it a little more seriously. Yeah, and yeah, I have some guys like the Swami helmets that give me the okay. helmets, the Gaian boots. Uh, now, now Axo is helping, like giving me giving you the the gear you need to ride. Yeah, and the uh, Nikon obviously and. Uh, yeah, rocket, rocket team. Give me all the bike and the. the I I think it's the best bike I ever tried. Do you think it's the best bike yeah, you've ever ridden? Yeah. It's it's perfect. What yeah, makes it the best team. thing? What makes it the best bike you've ever ridden? All, all the all the mechanics and the rocket guys, are, like perfect. They are so like um, friendly and. The bike is perfect, always good. The mechanics keep it very good. Keep it clean, yeah, keep it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I, I feel, I feel uh, to, to be in a very good team. No, it's good. But what's your favorite thing about the, the bike? You were telling me that it's lightweight, um, but what is your personal favorite thing for riding for experience on this bike? I, I think it's the engine because it's different. Here is a. It have a lot of bottom that I, I like it, and also the suspension are good. The rest of the guys are doing a beautiful work for this suspension, so it's good. So that's yeah. awesome. Well, all right, hey, Andy Winkler, thank you so much oh, for sitting down with us and talking with us. Thank you guys, Spencer Owens, and this is Crosstalk. Thank you. Can you say it in Italian? Uh, it's weird in Italian. That's okay. It's like a parole in cro... Ah. Parole crociate, see? Yeah. It's a word. It's yeah. like uh, in Italy, the, yeah. um, the translation yeah. is like the, the game uh, where you have to. Like crossword it. puzzle? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's okay, that's okay. I don't know how that's to okay. explain in English. <laughs> you did good. Oh, fuck. I have seen this before. <laughs> 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 Andy Winkler and uh, uh, Stiamo Guardando Crossword.